Welcome everybody to the Picture Perfect channel. Let's get to this week's episode. Sounds like a hawk to me. Well, what's up everybody? We're at the Crest Ridge Etiological Reserve in Crest, California. Looking for the black chin hummingbird. Uh, we have a good chance of uh, getting it. Right now, I'm walking by a beautiful oak grove. Here, I'll show you. Oaks of California. It's beautiful here. So we're going to keep on hiking and uh, particular flowers I want to go find and uh, see if we can uh, get some good uh, images of the hummingbirds and uh, yeah let's go see what we can get. I finally found the flowers I was looking for and there was some mint on the other side of the trees and I kept hearing them so I set up about I'd say 15 feet or a little bit more from where the flowers are by that wood if you can see on the side of the road there and uh, you know it was just up in the tree so I wanted to make sure you know I had a good shutter speed so I checked it and it was a little bit over a thousand uh, the f-stop was 6.3 most of the day and yeah I just kept you know hoping it would go down the flowers and I got some good pictures of it in the tree but I really wanted to, uh, you know obviously to get it to go down below and get to the flowers and see what happens and sure enough I just kept waiting and waiting and waiting and it finally went down below and got on the flowers but then it went back up in the tree so I just kept you know looking at the back of my camera and making sure that I got the shutter speed right because that was the whole thing I had to have it over a thousand as you guys know to stop the action I continue to photograph as many hummingbirds as I can because you know guys that's how it is <laughs> they're not easy they're really hard to photograph and one of the things i suggest to people is if you can try to focus in on the flower first right not particularly where the hummingbird is but where you think it's gonna go and just keep looking and and try to anticipate where it's gonna go because if you can get focused in on the flower first and wait for the hummingbird to come to it you have a you have a greater chance you know of getting it of getting it sharp it's not easy uh they're so fast they move around just back and forth it's unreal to get you know to get them to be sharp but like i said focusing on the flower that's one of the techniques that i use the most when it comes to my hummingbird photography um, because you know they're gonna go feed on the flowers I'm gonna continue to move around to a different one so that's definitely one of the best tips that I suggest to people when it comes to the hummingbirds is focus on the flower first and and anticipate where it's gonna go and just wait for it well I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video on hummingbirds uh, my top tips are make sure your shutter speed is over a thousand uh, ISO you know you got to have it over a thousand so whatever it takes even if it's high up to ISO 3200 you got to get it up there to stop the action um, always use a tripod and like I said earlier guys look focus in on the flower just focus in on the flower and and wait for the bird to come to it um, and another thing I always recommend to people especially when it comes to birds is get into the habit of having both eyes open don't have one eye closed um, keep both eyes open and focus in through that viewfinder on your on your subject on your bird um, and just be patient and use a tripod i know a lot of people don't like to use tripods when it comes to hummingbirds but i would use a tripod even if you've got a high-end lens with an f2 point something or f4 whatever it may be I, I know that's going to be fast, you know, it lets in more light, but I just think studying everything on a tripod makes for a huge difference. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out my website, michaelvancepemberton.com. See you later, bye.
don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.